Guys, on this video, I'm gonna give you 15 things that I had to quit doing if I wanted to get rich. Now, the first thing I had to quit doing in order to get rich was I had to stop living paycheck to paycheck. Now, why would I have to stop living paycheck to paycheck? Really, guys, it's based on my mental health. Paycheck to paycheck is just too stressful, it caused me too much anxiety. Now, how did I do that? I had to take money management more seriously. In other words, I had to do a budget on a regular basis. I had to make sure I had enough savings for emergencies. I had to start, a, start sort of taking control over my money as opposed to allowing my money to control me. And I had to stick to my plans. What were my goals, right? See, a lot of people make enough money, but a lot of people don't properly manage their money. I had to sort of become the CEO of my own four walls. I had to become the chief financial officer of my money. And I had to just manage it really, really well. And that helped me to stop living paycheck to paycheck. Now, the second thing I had to stop in order to be rich is I had to stop engaging myself in unnecessary risky stuff with money. In other words, taking gambles with money and calling it risk. I had to learn how to focus on preserving my, my wealth, right? And growing my money over time in sort of a patient way instead of risking it all the time and trying to get this get rich quick thing going on, right? Trying to chase the next get rich quick scheme that was going on. I had to stop all that, right? I had to quit doing that and just focus on being steady with my money, not always trying to risk and gamble everything. And I vowed to myself that I was gonna stop throwing money at things going down in value. And I vowed to myself that I wouldn't take on any new debt. So the last new debt that I took on was about 15 or 16 years ago. I haven't taken on any new debt since then. And guess what? That's reduced my risk significantly. Now, the third thing that I had to do is I had to stop neglecting financial education. In other words, you know, wealth can be sort of lost if you don't have the right knowledge, if you don't have the right information, right? If you don't have the right financial literacy, you can lose a lot of money and leave a lot of money on the table and make a whole bunch more mistakes. So the, the way I fixed that, I sort of made sure that I always educated myself. The podcast, the YouTube channels, the books. I don't care if it's library, Amazon, wherever you go. Barnes and Nobles doesn't matter. Just getting the information, becoming a sponge for all the financial education that's out there that's at our fingertips, really it's right on our phones. Now the fourth thing that I had to stop doing in order to get rich is I had to stop overspending to impress other people or spending to maintain a certain image. Because when you try to maintain an image, it becomes sort of a trap for you. And it becomes almost a never ending trap where you gotta keep buying this and you gotta keep spending this and you gotta make sure you look like this because it's just too much. Again, too stressful. So I decided, this is what I decided to do. This really helped me out. I decided to spend money in ways that align with my core values. Spend money in ways that lined up with my financial goals. And if it didn't meet my financial goals, no need to spend money on it. So I focused on growing my money instead of showing my money. I focus really on building wealth instead of just accumulating things. Now, the fifth thing that I had to stop doing in order to be rich is I had to stop ignoring taxes. Now, let me explain what I mean. I'm not saying I avoided and didn't pay taxes, but what I'm saying is I had to stop putting my taxes to the side like it was sort of an afterthought come every March or April. I had to start looking at my taxes as a way of saving and preserving my capital. You know, the more money that you make and the more money you have, the more taxes become more important. And everything involved with your taxes becomes a little more complicated, right? But if you ignore taxes, a lot of times you leave money on the table that you didn't really realize you would leave it on the table. And this really hits home with me because I got audited by the IRS. They came and looked at my, my eBay business and they did a whole bunch of audits and I had to go back and forth with the IRS and I had threw away a bunch of stuff. I made a bunch of mistakes. And so I learned you gotta have a good CPA, a good accountant on your team, especially as you start building wealth and you start making more money. 
So I interviewed several CPAs, accountants. I went out and got me a good solid one that I feel comfortable with. But no longer do I just take my taxes down there, give it to anybody to do. I take it to a professional that can help me plan throughout the year how to manage and schedule and work on my taxes throughout the year so that at the end, I don't have to pay a whole bunch, I don't owe a whole bunch, and it's done right. Now, the sixth thing I had to stop doing to get rich is I had to stop doing every single thing by myself. Why? Because at some point you gotta realize this, you can't do it all. And I had to realize that I cannot do every single thing. I don't have the expertise in every area of my life. So I had to hire some help. I had to get some help to make up for my deficiencies in areas where I'm not that good. So I own rental properties, right? So I don't fix every single thing that goes wrong in my rental properties. Not only can I not fix it all because I don't have the expertise, but I don't wanna fix it all. I hire people that are smarter than me, that know more about what they're doing than me, and I allow the experts to do their expert work. No more ego. I don't try to fix and do every single thing when it comes to my personal finances. Could I learn to do everything? Sure, I could learn, but that's time. And I believe that money is not nearly as valuable as time. And that takes me to number seven. The seventh thing that I had to quit doing to be rich is I had to stop valuing money more than I value time. See, let me give you an example. If I was to give you, say I'm gonna give you a million dollars today, but you only had 24 hours to live, which one are you gonna be thinking about more? The money that I'm gonna give you, the million dollars, or the fact that you only have 24 hours to live? 99.9%, 100% of us probably, are gonna say, I'm gonna be worried more about the 24 hours to live than the money. Matter of fact, most of us won't even think about the money. We're just gonna be thinking about the 24 hours to live. Now, why do I give that illustration? Because money is not nearly as important as time. And so what I begin to do is I stop putting money over time and I reverse that thing. I started putting time over money. And when I stopped undervaluing my time, life got better. Life got more fulfilling. I became more grateful for the time that I have. And I began to be more intentional and purposeful with my time. Now, the eighth thing that I had to stop doing is I had to stop making impulsive, emotional financial decisions. Because I learned that when you make emotional, impulsive financial decisions, it can really jeopardize your security and put your money at risk, right? Off the cuff financial decisions based on your feelings, how you feel in the moment is a destroyer of wealth. So I learned that it's better for me to make well thought out, logical financial decisions for the betterment of me and my money in the long run. So that means I had to start being super duper intentional with how I spent my money and I had to be real diligent about a budget, where my expenses were going, knowing what's coming in and knowing what's going out. Now, the ninth thing that I had to stop doing is I had to stop avoiding insurance. I know that may sound a little weird to you guys, but just believing that you have enough money to cover if something goes wrong, is not always the best way to handle your money. And so insurance is gonna protect you from emergencies or any significant unforeseen expenses that may come up. I know you got an emergency fund, that's cool, but there's, it's nice to have a safety net of insurance that you can rely on in case something catastrophic happens to you that's more than what you have in your emergency money. And I had to learn this about insurance the hard way. It can be a costly mistake when you don't have insurance, and that's another story for another video. But I had to personally make sure that I was covered with my automobiles, covered with my homes, my rental properties, my businesses, all that stuff had to have a safety net in case and when something goes wrong because something always typically goes wrong. Now, the 10th thing that I had to quit doing in order to be rich is I had to stop underestimating the power of lifestyle inflation or some people call it lifestyle creep. I learned that just because I make more money it doesn't mean that I have to spend more money. Now, how did I stop underestimating the power of this lifestyle inflation or lifestyle creep? I had to keep an eye, a real close, keen eye on my expenses. And I had to realize and understand and come to this conclusion that there's a direct correlation between 
what I have and what I spend. The more I spend, the less I have. Now, if I was to spend a whole lot less, I'm gonna have a whole lot more. I know it sounds elementary, but this money thing ain't rocket science. I know a lot of people that when they make more money, they go out and get a fancier car. When they make more money, they go out and get a fancy house. When they make more money, they start taking fancy vacations. Because what I started trying to do is I said, look, I'm gonna build up my cushion of money between my income and expenses. I'm just gonna keep building that thing and building that thing by keeping my expenses right here. And over the course of the years, I started making more money, making more money, and now I got a gigantic cushion every single month to play with or do what I want or invest or put towards savings or buy large items, right? Now, the 11th thing that I had to stop doing is I had to stop neglecting my health and my well-being and my sleep. I never really neglected my health, but there were times when I probably could have took it more seriously and prioritize it more. Wealth don't mean a whole lot if you're not healthy enough to enjoy it. I learned that neglecting my physical and mental well-being can cause irreversible damage. So what did I do? I cleaned up my eating. I made sure I was walking every day, doing some type of resistant exercises in terms of lifting weights or something like that, push-ups, pull-ups, weights, whatever it could be. I started making sure I got fresh air, drink plenty of water every day, took deep breaths, pray, meditation, get sun on my body, have healthy thoughts, and just overall spiritual, mental, and physical focus. Now, the 12th thing that I had to stop doing in order to get rich is I had to stop avoiding estate planning. For a long time, I would say, oh, I'm going to get that wheel. I'm going to do this wheel. I'm going to get this estate, and I didn't do it. I had to stop avoiding that whole thing of estate planning and go ahead and just buckle down, spend the money, and get a good solid estate plan so that just in case something happened to me, we're covered. With wealth comes the responsibility of planning for the future. So I learned the importance of having a good proper estate plan to ensure that my assets were distributed the way I want them to be distributed when I pass away and not the way the state decides to have them distributed. Now the 13th thing that I had to stop doing to be rich was I had to stop neglecting the power of investing. Stop neglecting the power of compound interest. For a lot of years guys, I was that person that only put in what the company matched or only up to 5%, right? I didn't put in as much money as I probably should have been putting in to my employer's retirement plan or towards investing. If I had put in more than I had put in, I'd probably have double the amount or triple the amount of wealth that I have right now. But for a lot of years, I just avoided or neglected compound interest and investing as much as I possibly could. Big mistake. Now, the 14th thing that I had to stop doing to get rich is I had to stop ignoring other people's well-being. Thankfully, I was able to stop this one many years ago, but I never really considered back then my impact on other people or the world. But now I care a lot more about making a positive impact in the world and really a positive contribution to the world. Because as you get closer to your m mortality, you get older, more mature, you start realizing that you're not going to be here forever. And there's going to be a there's going to be a moment in time when you're not here. And you want to be able to say, you know, I left a, a lasting impression or impact on the world and the people in the world when I was here. I made a contribution to other people's lives to make it better. And so that meant that I had to prioritize giving and helping. For the last 260 plus monthly budgets at the very top of my budget is the word giving right up there with food and mortgage or rent whatever's up there i had to have giving up there whether it was ties to my church or whether it was just giving to help other people now the 15th and final thing that i had to quit doing is i had to stop neglecting celebrating my achievements i've always been that person that if you go look at my desk or where i sit i don't keep a whole bunch of pictures and memorabilia or anything around me no matter where I go no matter where I sit whatever job I do at my home desk whatever I'm not the I've never been the person that keep a lot of mementos and achievements right I was never like that but I started to figure out that it's important to recognize and celebrate my accomplishments and that's okay to do see I had to learn that wealth shouldn't just be about accumulating stuff but it should also be about enjoying the fruits of my labor and it's okay to sit back and just celebrate achievements. 
from time to time. So there you have it guys. Those are the 15 things that I had to quit doing in order to be rich. If you got value from this video, do me a favor, smash the like button. But more importantly, share this video with someone who you know. Now, being rich was never really my main goal. My goal has always been to build wealth and be wealthy, not just rich. Now, if you wanna know exactly why my goal is to build wealth and not just be rich, you need to check out this video right here next. Peace.